Hello, this is Kareen Martin with Kareen and Company. Today we're going to talk about rejection. We're going to do it through belly button therapy because we've all had a moment in time, maybe several, where maybe a decision was made and we were excluded or not considered. And then sometimes our minds play a, a trick on us and go back to childhood when maybe we were rejected for one reason or another, whether it was mental, emotional, physical, psychological, or even spiritual. So let's use our fingers, whichever one you want. I like my pallor finger. I put it in my belly button and my pointer finger. And I want to start with the topic of rejection. Now, I like to clear our biological mother and our biological father and their biological mothers and fathers of any situations they had in time where they felt rejected, unwanted, unworthy. And then I want to trickle it down to us, to you, when you felt moments of time where you had rejection. And sometimes what happens when we feel this emotion, we play it over and over in our head and then it goes into our future. And this past event just drags us down. And over years and time, it could re really create havoc in our life, low self-esteem, low self-worth. But why don't we learn from it? Why don't we take that moment in time and be honest with ourselves and see what can we learn from that, okay? What happens is sometimes situations happen, we get trapped emotions in our body. If it goes long term, it can become chronic and then we could start getting physical ailments and a lot of times it ends up with bowel movement issues, headaches, colds. So we wanna address things, one situation or one emotion at a time. So as you have your finger in your belly button, let's practice a breath. We're gonna take a breath in, go way down to our umbilicus and lower if you can. Should take you five to second, seven seconds to get there. You're gonna hold and then you're gonna do a really super slow release. I want you to practice this deep breathing and relaxing while I go through some really powerful words as I use my dowsing tool and I connect with source, our guides, our angels, your source, your guides, your angels, and determine when each program is identified. So the first word we're gonna do as you breathe and hold your finger in your belly button is rejection. I want to ask our guides, our angels, our high self committee, check all our lifetimes, levels, and layers where we may have inherited this energy or brought it into this lifetime with us. Please go in and clear it, remove it, and release it. All the side effects it may have had on us emotionally, mentally, physically, psychologically, address them please. If it caused stagnation in the stomach or the large intestine or the abdominal area or in the heart or the lungs, let's go ahead and shift that energy, the belief systems, perceptions, and judgments. They may not have just been yours. They may have been birthed in from lifetime after lifetime. So let's clear programs of rejection and let's clear and identify programs when we rejected others. And let's breathe in love and exhale forgiveness. Let's take another breath in. Keep breathing till I see that it's cleared. Spiritual kick, let's really identify these issues. Anything hidden, buried, and covered up Maybe this is a really tough topic for some people, but we've got to release it. We have to let these feelings, these emotions, these patterns and beliefs go. Good, thank you. Take another breath in, hold, and let go of anything that's holding you back, causing you physical pain or emotional pain. Thank you. Sometimes with that, we have feelings of shame any shame we may have held on to, whether it's ours, our ancestors, or we processed it and pushed it onto our children. Let's go in and clear all shame. Clear it from our bones, our blood, our intestines. Let me know, go ahead, take another breath in, breathe in love, exhale shame. Just know when you breathe in and you exhale, it doesn't leave anything in your surroundings. It doesn't put anything on your objects or your building. We set our intention that when we breathe in love and forgiveness, we hold and we exhale, 
gets transformed, transmuted, and then you heal, okay? So take one more breath. Good. And then lifetime after lifetime of sadness, the sadness that congeals and gets stuck in our mind, in our heart, in our lungs, in all our organs, in all our tissues. Let's clear all sadness. Checking the Akashic records, the conscious and subconscious clutter, let's clear it. Take a beautiful breath in and release. You still want to take another breath in, hold, and forgive yourself and for others. Good. Now, a lot of times we feel a lot of disappointment when we are rejected. Let's go in and ask that all those belief systems, all those vibrations, all those energies of disappointment from others and disappointment of ourself be acknowledged, released, and cleared. As you have your finger in your belly button, if you feel your stomach nodding up, getting hard, or maybe you get palpitations, use that other hand and put it in that area, meaning I'm acknowledging what I'm feeling here. It's a little uncomfortable. Whatever is trapped, whatever is stuck, as I breathe, I give you permission to release and let go. Good, keep breathing in. We still have a little bit here. Let's clear all disappointment, all layers, levels, and lifetimes. And breathe in love and exhale rejection. Then sometimes we get social rejection. You know, if it's at work or we're applying for a job and maybe we're not accepted, use it as a learning tool and figure out what could you have done more? How can you enhance some of your skills or what could you have said that was different? Or simply take it as a gift. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Let's go ahead and breathe in appreciation. And breathe out rejection. Let's breathe in hope. And release fear. Breathe in trust and breathe out fear. Good. With that could come some anger. Maybe we get mad. Maybe we get frustrated. Maybe we feel a victim of a particular situation or conversation. You know what? It's too small. We have to let it go. I know we create it bigger and bigger because we had patterns and projections and thought patterns. We want to shift them at this time because they're not healthy for us. Let's go in and breathe in self-love and breathe out rejection. Breathe out rejection mentally, emotionally, physically, and psychologically. Let's ask our middle abdomen or upper and lower abdomen to let go of all the pain, all the sadness, all the grief associated with a lifetime of rejection and take into consideration, we're birthed in some of our mother and father's rejection, their mothers and fathers, and then all the lifetimes we live. So do you understand why? Sometimes it's so overwhelming. Give your body permission as you breathe in to let it all go. Some things we're aware of, most things we're unaware of. Do a spiritual kick and give yourself permission to let it go. It's holding you back. It's keeping you from being amazing. So stop. Stop the insanity of it. Take another breath. And as you exhale out, be willing to transform, transmute, and change the habits and um, belief systems we've been carrying on with. With this could come some, um, some anxiety and depression. So let's address that. When we feel that we are rejected, and maybe it's just a belief system, but it doesn't matter. It's all painful. It kind of hits the heart, soaks in the lung, creating a lot of sadness and a lot of grief. And then it gets processed in our intestinal area. And it could cause constipation. It could cause diarrhea. It could cause bloating. It's just toxic energy. Let's go ahead and clear through our breath all these toxic thoughts, feelings, beliefs, perceptions, and things that aren't really the reality of it at all. Let's give our permission to believe and trust that we are quite amazing. 
and that there's something really great out there for us, but we have to trust and believe we deserve it, we want it, and we pull it in. Let's shift our attitude, let's raise our vibration, and ask for divine healing, divine intervention, and clear programs and cycles of rejection. Take a breath. Release. Remember, you are amazing. You are fabulous. And if there's something that you want to shift about yourself, start shifting it. Shift it through your breath, through your thoughts, and through your day-to-day -day living. Keep breathing, keep relaxing, and keep letting go. What I suggest you do is learn from those issues of rejection, figure out how you can enhance your life and how you can forgive either the situation or the person and even yourself. Because we have to remember we can't blame anyone for anything. We have to hold it all within, go within, shift and change. That's how you empower yourself, that's how you change your life, and that's how you enhance your life. So with belly button therapy, anything that challenges you, put your finger in your belly button, do your breathing, breathe in love, exhale forgiveness, breathe in love, exhale any traumas that you hold on to, breathe in love, exhale forgiveness. Removing all programs of rejection, whether you're aware of them or unaware, we ask they be acknowledged, released, and cleared. Thank you.